What's up guys, back for another update on the PCS3 project. Uh, as you can see, well maybe see, uh, I have the PCS3 hooked up here in the living room. Uh, we've actually already got the hooked up and everything. Uh, if you follow me on Twitter, you would be able to see that already. Um, check it out. Uh, basically we abandoned the uh, Audrina project and just soldered some wires directly to the board that interface with the switch. Uh, so the main power switch works, the LEDs on the board do not. So to fix that, we wired in a few LEDs from an old case that I had thrown out, but salvaged the LEDs for, and those are actually the LEDs that came from the uh, the old iMac project. Um, but basically, we just scrapped the guts of that project, so uh, I harvested what I could from it. So after I got the LEDs hot glued in, I uh, just did some cable management there. Uh, so as you can see, we're on Windows 10. Um, it tells me to activate in the corner because this is the trial version because I haven't activated it yet, because I'm lazy. Uh, so one of the things I wanted to show you was how to actually get the PlayStation controller up and running. Super simple. Um, I'll leave a link to the software in the description down there. So basically, what you want to do is just plug it in and not fall over. And then once you're plugged in, you'll need to install the SDP toolkit, uh, which again I'll leave a link to down below. Super easy installation, just click through the menus uh, and it'll bring you to this screen here. Plug in your Bluetooth card, uh, which I'll leave a link to one that works down in the description as well uh, that does work with the PS4, uh, PS3 and PS4 controllers. Um, so, super easy. You just choose your Bluetooth adapter controller you want to install. Where did my DualShock go? DualShock. Hit install and you're good to go. But once you've done that, your controller will sync. You can unplug it and it'll stay synced. Like a regular controller. It's really cool. So we can do Steam streaming. So we can stream things from my gaming rig, which is over there. Um, I heard a lot of flack about streaming games and whatnot. Um, I don't have any problems with it. Uh, I have my gaming rig hooked up to a wired connection, uh, and then this is all over wireless. Graphics quality, we're on custom very high. We actually went above the very high preset, turned everything all the way up to make it look real pretty. Also harder to stream because it's really pretty. Let me see if I can get a better shot of the TV. Alright, so I got the light off the TV so you can see it a little better. And as you can see, we're on our wireless controller. Clicking through the menus. I see a giant glare on the TV. I can't tell where it's coming from. I don't see it from where I'm sitting. Sorry guys, I don't know how you read that glare because I've moved my light and it's not on camera anymore. And there's another light in the way. Yay, loading screens. Exciting loading screens. Alright, so as you can see we're up and running, I don't know if you guys can see the frame right down in the corner here, they're locked in in between 56 and 60 FPS. And there's just a little bit of input lag. Watch the screen, not the camera. But other than that little bit, it's pretty fine. Uh, it looks fantastic. Uh, it looks as good as it does on my, my computer over yonder. So that's what we're really going for. Uh, so anyway, that's the main use for this PC is just st game streaming from my uh, my gaming rig over there. Uh, so I can like suddenly capture by the TV, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, also. Uh, it serves as my Cody box for the TV in here, so we can um, watch stuff off my hard drive, um, stream things from services and what have you. But we've already got Cody installed, super easy to install, uh, and that's all set up and everything. So we do have a couple other things to do with this project before we're done. 
Um, I don't know if you can tell from here, but these ports in the bottom are just empty sockets. Uh, so I do intend to get an um, internal USB header to panel mount USBs to plug in there. So we actually plug USB in the front panel. Uh, we'll probably just hot glue those in place. Uh, when I open it up to do that, I'll show you guys another shot of the inside when we get to that point. Um, but I have to order those things, they haven't come in yet. I haven't actually ordered them yet, so they can't have come in yet, but whatever. Uh, but other than that, we're pretty much done. Um, I do have all the screws in there that would fit in there and secured. Um, and I'll do, just do a separate video on actually finishing that up. Um, I didn't actually record anything when I was finishing it because I wasn't feeling too good. Uh, I don't know if you can tell I'm a little stuffy today even. But anyway, that's going to do it for now. Hit that like button, get subscribed. Uh, stay tuned, a lot of cool stuff in the future. Uh, I'll see you the next one. Smack the camera. Smacking the camera is good.